Hello, math friends. In this video, I'm going to cover fractional parts of whole numbers, which is really multiplying fractions. In this first problem, it says Sarah was filling up her pool for the summer. The pool is nine feet deep, but she only filled it up two-thirds of the way full before she ran out of water. How many feet of water did she put into the pool? So here I have a picture of my pool, and if you can imagine, I'll draw the pool. The pool itself from top to bottom is nine feet and I want to know if she filled it up two-thirds of the way so if I split it into thirds and we say okay she filled it up this much how much water is in the pool <clears throat> so really I'm looking for two-thirds of nine feet now this is a multiplication problem. Of means multiply. So I'm going to change this to times. So I'm going to do 2 thirds times 9. When you're doing 2 thirds times 9, you can put the whole number 9 over 1. That way now they're both fractions and you can multiply. Multiplying fractions is super easy. You just take your numerator and fly right over to your denominator and multiply those two. And you can also take your denominator and fly over and do 3 times 1 on your denominators. Before you multiply, though, you should look diagonally in the problem. So I'm going to look at, for example, 2 and 1 and ask myself, can I reduce? And the answer is no. 2 and 1, I can't reduce by any common factors. 2 and 1 don't have any common factors, so I'm not going to reduce there. So I'll look the other way, 3 and 9. Uh, do they have any common factors? And they do. 3 and 9 can both be divided by 3. So I'm going to cross off the 3 and the 9. I'm going to reduce both. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. And now I can finish multiplying like I started. So I'm going to do 2 times instead of 9. I'm going to do times 3. And then I'm going to do 1 instead of the 3 times this 1, which I didn't change. So 2 times 3 is 6, and 1 times 1 is 1. 6 over 1 is the same thing as 6. In this case, 6 feet. So from here to here is that's 6 feet. Each third, really, if you think about it, is 3 feet. So a third is 3 feet, 2 thirds is 6 feet, and then... Three-thirds would be nine feet. So that's basically how you do it. I'm going to go through a couple examples, uh, and you can pause it and fast-forward or rewind, whatever you need to do. So here I have, what is three-eighths of 32? Three-eighths of means times, 32. I'm going to put it over one because it's a whole number, and I want to multiply. Now you can do this with me, or you can pause it and try it yourself. So again, I'm going to look diagonally, 3 and 1. They have no common factors, so I can't divide both of them. So I'll look at 8 and 32 and ask myself, do they have any common factors? And they do. 8 and 32 can both be divided by a few different numbers, the largest of which is 8. So 8 goes into both. 8 goes into 8 once, and 8 goes into 32 four times. I can't reduce 8 and 1 anymore, so I'll just multiply my 3, which is left, times my 4, and then my 1, which I got rid of the 8, times this 1, which is still over here. And now, my final answer is going to be 3 times 4, which is 12, over 1 times 1 is 1, and since it's over 1, that's just 12. Let's take a look at another example here. leave that there. So here I have what is three-fifths of 25. So try this one on your own. Three-fifths of 25. That's three-fifths times 25. I'm going to pause the video. Try it on your own and, and uh, in a second you can pause the video too and then the work will appear. And there you go. Final answer there is 15. So I reduced the 5 and the 25 down to 5 and 1. And it was 15 over 1 when you do 3 times 5, and you get 15 as your final answer. So 3 fifths of 25 is 15. <clears throat>
I wanted to show you guys I think one more example so I'm going to skip that one I'm going to look at this one right here so here's a little bit tougher of an example 5 eighths of 120 the only reason it's tougher is because the number is bigger but we can handle it so let's still the same way it's 5 eighths times 120 now here's a perfect example of why you want to reduce so 1 in 5 can't be reduced but 8 in 120 can now you might not know by what so I know that they're both even so I might start off by dividing them both by 2 8 divided by 2 is 4 and 120 divided by 2 is 60 now those are also both even numbers so I'm going to divide again. I'll cut them both in half again. 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 60 divided by 2 is 15. Now 2 and 15 don't have any common factors so that's it for that. So I'm basically ready to finish and multiply. So I have 5 times 15 for my numerator. 15 times 5 if you don't know is 75 and then on the bottom 2 times 1 is 2 so I have 75 over 2 this is an improper fraction so I'm going to want to divide to turn it into a mixed number so remember you do that by doing 75 divided by 2 2 goes into 7 3 times to give you 6 subtract you get 1 bring down your 5 and 2 goes into 15 7 times that's 14 and you subtract and you get 1. And I pulled down all my numbers, so 75, if I look back again at 75 halves, that equals, I want to know how many times 2 goes into 75, the answer is 37. And then remember our remainder is 1, so really it's 37 and a half. And so it doesn't even always work out to be a whole number, um, but you can see how 5 eighths of 120 is 37 and a half. So, anyway, I hope this helps and see you in class.